Peace and welcome. Today we have part two of our top 10 stage one themes. We will be finishing up and presenting 10 through one. All of the same guidelines apply, so with no further delay, let's get this started. Number 10, Contra, Jungle. Up first, we have an intense beat that kicks off the game perfectly. You are dropped right into the action, one hit deaths, only three lives, and bullets aplenty. The theme has a similar feel to how the game plays. You get a small intro to start out before the beat drops, and the game gives you a few seconds before you start to see enemies shooting and running your way. And then just like the theme, the action doesn't stop until it's over. Number 9, Act Razor. Fillmore. In at number 9 we have that good old SNES sound. The sound it produces seems to be a bit softer than the Genesis at times. I don't mean the volume but the overall feel. And of course it doesn't have that Genesis twang that can sometimes infect those Genesis themes. I only mention all of this because the theme is arranged and composed by none other than Yuzo Koshiro, who may be best known for his soundtracks on the Sega Genesis, including the Streets of Rage trilogy. All ActRaiser does is prove that Yuzo can compose for any console. Double Dragon, Stage 1. A melody that doubles as Billy and Jimmy's theme, but before we knew all of that, this was just a simple Stage 1 beat. I actually didn't know this was their theme until I picked up the soundtrack and was reading the booklet a few years back. Even with it doubling as their theme, it's still a Stage 1. I won't say too much about the beat itself because we just talked about this one in another top 10 we did recently. But I will say it's unforgettable and it brings back a ton of memories staying up late nights with friends beating up street gangs. Seven, Golden Axe, Wilderness. Lucky number seven is from one of my all-time favorite soundtracks. The medieval setting of the game is only made more prevalent with a theme like this. It screams Dark Ages, but it also lets you know there is a mission to be handled. I find it impressive the way the composer was able to convey the medieval feeling with such simple instruments. The Genesis version was arranged by Yu Takada with the original arcade arrangement by Toru Nakabayashi. And as you know, we love some arcade soundtracks. Six, Blaster Master Area One. Another theme that originates on the NES console, so it has been around for a while. The intro build up and payoff is one of the tops on the entire console. 
I really like the overall feel. It has a sense of purpose and it continues to build throughout the theme. It's not just a simple loop like some other cheap themes. Just looping the same thing for three minutes is a lazy method. It's easy to create a three second loop and rinse and repeat for the entire duration. But this theme has depth. It has passion and it really shows what the NES is capable of. However, just like almost every theme on this list, there is a new and updated rendition. Look for this one on Blaster Master Zero for the 3DS and Nintendo Switch. And yes, of course, it's still the Stage 1 theme. Number 5. Doom at Doom's Gate. One of the most well-known Stage 1 themes ever. Doom is well known by many people. A game that started its popularity on PC, has been ported to almost every console under the sun, made the news for fabricated reasons, spawned a movie franchise, and it all started with E1M1. Composed and arranged by Bobby Prince, I wonder if he knew he was about to lay down one of the most popular riffs in gaming history. We are mainly a console gaming channel, but we feel this one shouldn't be ignored. Number 4, Streets of Rage 2, Go Straight. Unlucky number 4 comes from Mr. Yuzo yet again. To put it bluntly, his music resonates. I think he could produce hip hop songs if he chose to because some of his tunes already have a dance or club feel. Just make them CD quality beats and throw on some random musicians and I think he would be successful. Some of his melodies are influenced by pop songs and some famous electronic songs, but that just means he already knows how to produce a pop song. With all of that being said, I am glad he chose video game soundtracks. He is a master of that Yamaha sound chip in the Genesis. And without his music, Streets of Rage would have felt completely different. Ghosting Goblins, Stage 1. A lot like the Double Dragon theme on our list today, this Stage 1 beat eventually became the hero's theme. At first it was just Stage 1 music, and very good Stage 1 music at that. I grew up playing the NES version of Ghosting Goblins, but the game has been featured on quite a few consoles. Although this theme does not appear in every single version, for example, on the Commodore 64 they use a Michael Jackson sounding beat. The Amiga has a dark feeling beat. And this is what the ZX Spectrum has. So this was pretty much a no-brainer. In a previous top 10, we played the version that appears in Smash Brothers, but the music originates in the arcade version. So we feel the need to play that one at least once. Two, 
Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Emerald Hill Zone. A theme from one of my favorite soundtracks. I might put this in my top 10 soundtracks in all of game. I haven't come up with that list yet, but it's for sure in my top 10 Genesis soundtracks. If you are ever interested in owning the Sonic 1 or 2 soundtrack, I recommend this version here. I was thinking about doing a review on the actual physical release, so let me know if you guys want videos where I review the releases themselves. Not the music, but the packaging and the bonus material that comes along with it. But the real reason I recommend this set is because of the second CD. It's Masa's demo versions of the Sonic 1 and 2 soundtracks. So you can hear his original compositions before the Yamaha chip got a hold of it. Before we get to number one, we have a few honorable mentions. We usually have about five per episode, but since this is a top 20, we will have a few extra. For number one, we have a certain little theme from Castlevania, Vampire Killer. The first stage in the first Castlevania game. This is the first background music you hear while actually playing the game and it's memorable as any other theme in gaming. It was a very close one, we almost chose the theme of Simon Belmont, and if you just listen to the NES version of Vampire Killer and the SNES version of the theme of Simon, then you might go with Simon. But remove all hardware limitations, find arranged versions, and listen to the themes again. For example, in Super Smash Bros., Vampire Killer has a new and updated rendition, and it completely jams. Even if rock and metal aren't your thing, it's Vampire Killer. What else do you need? So there you have our first top 20 list. If you liked it, let us know. We may do some more top 20s in the future. We haven't really decided that yet. Thanks to everyone who commented, there were a ton this time. Up next we'll have our top 10 end credits or staff roll themes. The music you hear while the credits are scrolling by. That is pretty much the only guideline besides the two mainstays. Big thanks and shout out to gold level patron Bearsona11. I am ICC. Thanks for watching. Peace. <laughs>